William Gross, 1835 to 1898. Source, historylink.org, SA393. William Gross, a black pioneer, came to Seattle around 1860 and became a successful businessman. He acquired one of the largest land holdings in the city and was among those paying the most taxes. Gross, often spelled G-R-O-S-S, -S, but actually spelled G-R-O-S-E, was 15 when he left his home in Washington, D.C. to join the U.S. Navy. During his naval career, he made expeditions to the Arctic and also to Japan. His adventures were just beginning. He then left the Navy for the gold mines of California, working in the Montezuma, Columbia, and Sonora districts, and in a number of other California mining camps. William Gross helped f form an underground railroad to aid slaves in escaping, even going to Panama to persuade officials not to send escaped slaves, slaves back to the South. Back in California, he assisted in making arrangements for the settlement of black people in Victoria and on the Fraser River in British Columbia, Canada. Later, serving as steward on the seagoing vessel, the Constitution, which carried mail between Victoria, BC and Olympia, Washington, he had a fortuitous meeting with Washington Governor Isaac Stevens. William Gross found and kept safely a watch belonging to the governor. The governor was so impressed with the man that he urged him to move to Washington Territory. This black Seattle pioneer was a big man in spirit and in body, weighing over 400 pounds and standing six feet four inches tall. He opened Our House, a hotel and restaurant on Yesler Way, which became a popular stop for Seattle's mostly white populace. He also became a good friend of the city's pioneer families. Stories abound about his generosity, integrity, and honesty. One story, told by attorney J.E. Hawkins, recounts how William Gross sold his hotel for $5,000. It was later burned in the 1889 fire, the Great Fire, which on June 6, 1889, burned 30 downtown blocks to the ground. He looked up the new owner and returned the $5,000. William Gross was the first black person to buy property in East Madison. In 1882, he purchased a 12-acre tract from Henry, Ye Henry Yesler for $1,000 in gold. His home, with slight alteration, still stands at 1733 24th Avenue. He was a Mason, a trustee of First African Methodist Episcopal Church, and a member of the Washington Pioneer Association. He died on July 27, 1898, in Seattle and is buried in Lakeview Cemetery.